Gentlemen, let's broaden our minds. Lawrence? So we saw. Let's get into the fucking fucking nitty gritty here. The meat and potatoes. We saw Suicide Squad, and we have a lot, a lot to fucking say. So let's just let's just start off right now with the good, and we'll transition into the bad because the good is gonna be real fucking quick. Yeah. So, um, I'm gonna say that I was not super excited for Suicide Squad. So maybe I kind of went into it with the wrong mindset, but I went in with no expectations because I went into Batman v Superman fucking angry as hell because I didn't even want to pay to see that movie, but I did anyway. I went into this movie thinking, you know what? This could be the one that potentially turns it around. Not saying like it's going to be the best movie ever, but I went into it trying not to fucking hate it. And what did I say a half an hour into the movie? I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so we should probably uh, just give the uh, audience a quick little story about it. Yeah, right I, I'm well. sorry to come off so harsh, but, like, <clears throat> it, it... Jesus, sorry. This movie's been fucking eating at me for, like, what, a week now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, let's just, let's just kind of you know, fill people in for those of you who don't know a lot about the Suicide Squad, don't know the backstory. Let's, uh, let, let's get into that. Okay. You want to, you want to take it or you want me to do it? Long story short, uh, it's basically a group of, uh, Batman's villains. Well, or, or DC villains. DC villains okay. Yeah. General. Let's say that yeah, DC villains, uh, get together and, um, it's all, um, controlled by, um, Amanda Waller and Argus. Yep, and Argus. I mean, she runs it, but yeah. it's like, you know. Yeah, and basically, um, they're all put together for missions that are deemed impossible to survive. Right. Uh, hence, Suicide Squad. Yeah, it gives the government plausible deniability that they had anything to do with these instances of extreme violence. Right. You know? Right. So if anything goes wrong, you they can just blame it yeah. on... The Suicide Squad, yep. the villains. It's like, hey, they're villains. This is what they do. So yep. that's kind of like the bare bones, like backstory. There's a lot more to it, but we won't really get into it too, right. too much. Right. Okay. So let me start off with the positives. My personal positives. Yeah, I have some as well. Okay. Um, I don't know where to begin. Um, I did not hate the group. I thought, you know, they weren't a, per a perfect group. You know, there were some cringeworthy lines from Killer Croc. You know, there was uh, some cringeworthy lines from uh, Joel Kinnam. Joel Kinnaman. Yeah, him, RoboCop. Yep. Uh, but I think that the cast really worked well. Yeah, that's with, not... with with what they had. Yeah, like I yeah. mean, I may have not, I may not have liked a lot of the delivery, honestly. Mm -hmm. But that's not to say that these characters were wrongly cast. Yeah. Like, the actors... Honestly, I can't even say the actors did the best with what they had, but, like, you can tell they tried. Yeah, okay, I'll, 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 uh, sum, I'll sum up my feelings like this. Uh, Suicide Squad was, like, the first uh, TMNT movie to me. I liked the Turtles, but I hated the movie they were in. Okay, that's good the comparison. Yeah, that's the best way I can describe it, honestly. Yeah, yeah, if these characters were in a better movie, if these oh, actors were in a better movie, this could have been so much more than it was. Yeah, 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 and I agree. I was going to say, that kind of transitions into my positives. I mean, you know, this movie had potential. It did. And you could see it. There were, there were some scenes, there were some portrayals, there were some lines delivered that hit pretty fucking well. They did. And unfortunately for me, that's what really bogs this movie down because it's like, I can see mm -hmm. the fucking good movie that mm -hmm. could have been within this shitty movie. Yeah, I agree. And this is harkening back to like memories of fucking watching Fant Four Stick. Oof. Because I... there was potential in that movie too. Look, um... I've heard a lot of comparisons towards that movie. 
I get it that it had potential. You know, like, mm-hmm. it, okay, I, I'll, I'll sum it up like this. It had potential just like uh, Fantastic Four, but the difference... Be- the, the reason why I'd rate this higher than Fantastic Four is because uh, I wasn't as bored watching it. Oh, no, no, no. Y- this you know was definitely I mean? more entertaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. definitely you're more entertaining. You're talking about, you're than... talking about uh, uh, qua- like... Uh, From a writing standpoint. Yeah, yeah. It had like a lot of potential. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, like, I'm just saying, like, in general, I've been seeing a lot of comparisons to that, and I'm just like... Oh. Honestly, I've been kind of staying away from a lot of the reviews to so that I can have my own opinion. So, so for you to say that, because I haven't read anything, yeah. like, that just kind of cements it for me. It's like, well, fuck. I yeah. guess, it, you know, I'm obviously not the only one who sees no, it No, you're not. Way. No, no. Okay. So, I guess that kind of transitions into the bad, which, unfortunately, there is a lot of. So, um, I'm going to, I'm going to start this off and you can interject whenever you feel it necessary. Okay. Um, I would say that (laughs) let, let's, let's just, I'm going to just cut right into it. This movie is going like, this movie's doing well, I believe right now. It made like 135 million. I, I mean, like they're making it out to see, like it's. It it'll, the best, it'll drop the second week. Yeah, I was going to say, it had the best um, opening, opening weekend for August. It beat Guardians. Yeah. But well, Guardians is better. That's not <laughs> saying a whole hell of a lot. Like, yeah, you can break records, but it doesn't change the quality of the film. Right. This movie was made, marketed to, and pandering to the Hot Topic demographic. Yeah, I can see that. And it's ridiculous how like i don't i don't want to like come off as that asshole because like i was that asshole kid that fucking shopped in hot topic when i was when i was in fucking high school and shit yeah so like i understand i get it like those kids like that are going to fucking defend this movie unabashedly and that's what's happening right now i can see a lot of memes like with the quotes from this, mm-hmm. I can just see a lot of memes. Okay, so I want to ask you something too. Yeah. Um, do you like movie soundtracks? Um, when they're good. <laughs> okay, because I I'm... liked a lot of the songs in this, and I get what they were doing. Okay, you know what? Fuck, it. Movie... they were trying really fucking hard to be Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, they wanted to be <laughs> this edgy Guardians of the Galaxy, like, <laughs> hey, we got the. Remember when, like, Guardians of the Galaxy did this thing with, like, kind of unknown characters and, like, they made it trendy and put in, like, a cool soundtrack with, like, songs that people haven't thought about in 20 years? That's fine if they want to do that. Do it right. Exactly. Do it right. Okay, so basically what we're saying is this. Uh, The first 10 minutes of this movie... Not even... It was, like, the first fucking 15. Yeah, the first... They shoehorned in so many fucking songs. And and I I turned to you, like... 15 minutes into the movie and I was just like they're gonna run through the whole soundtrack in like 10 minutes if they don't fucking finish if they don't stop this honestly, shit honestly okay uh by the way uh I can't believe I have to say this again spoilers yeah uh, so it starts off uh with um House of House of the Rising Sun by the Animals which it's a great song yeah. and I liked and I thought it, it I worked it. well yeah. for that scene it worked but here's the thing how this is how I would have done it. Not saying I'm 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 perfect or. You, you remember how like the, the camera was going over like uh, Bell Reeve, mm-hmm. and you know it, it was going in the prison. Yeah. And you saw Will Smith punching the punching bag to that song. Yeah. What if they showed each character just doing something in their cell while that song was playing? And, you know, kind of transition it, you know, to the narrative of uh, Amanda Waller and then, right. you know, and then go from there. But no, they they, they made it very, very choppy and, and you it know was what? weird. And yeah, I was going to say, they actually did something right there. If I'm not mistaken, it seemed like, because they, you know, the camera was pushing into the, into the prison. They showed one of the prison guards looking over the security footage. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure the song was playing on the radio he was listening to, if yeah. I remember correctly. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. That is absolutely fine. I love when movies do that. Yeah. I cannot stand when the soundtrack is just like... I love when the soundtrack is organic to the scene itself, when it's mm-hmm. actually 
playing in this world, you know? Kind of like in Green Room. With right. The, yeah. Every song that was in Green Room was actually played either by the bands performing in the movie or over the PA system. Right. Fine. Great. But when you play these fucking trendy, ridiculous songs for the sake of fucking playing them that have nothing to do with the narrative of the story or of the movie mm -hmm. other than for like one line because it's like haha something that happened in the movie kind of corresponded to that one line i i thought they I, did I, that so many times the that songs it fucking were too took me out of the movie the songs were too on the nose exactly that's the issue okay because the second perfect yeah. example the second they they started organizing the suicide squad like they brought them together and they were getting their shit like <laughs> the second that scene hit immediately guess who's back <laughs> back again and i couldn't help but fucking i literally screamed this at the at the screen i was just like why why is this here i i like the song i just don't like i don't like I, it I don't in like this the scene like i get it, it. In, yeah and then i get not it only they're, that, they're back. But like when you think about it it's just like but this is the first time we as an audience are meeting these characters. So I'm, did they really come back? I'm guess, I'm guess I'm not defending it, but I'm guessing it's because they got their clothes back. I don't know. <laughs> but uh yeah, I wanted to say this. Uh you're probably gonna think I'm fucking crazy. The first time I saw it, I saw it with you and Phil. Mm -hmm. Uh the second time I went with uh my friend Christina, and we were sitting down watching it and I I tried to to really shut off the music in my head mm -hmm. and I was just thinking I was like you know some of these scenes would work a lot better without the music if it, if it was just no you know like yeah just just a scene a backing score not not a fuck no not even not, no? not, even, not even just just quite you know just just organic sounds let it like you know you don't have to make it a fucking music video exactly that, that was that was my issue with it i know i know we're on the music for a little bit but, but it's this just is something, something that really yeah. fucking bothered me because yeah. it took me out of the the movie going experience yeah, it because just... my brain was forced to think about the songs that were being played over the scene yeah because the reason why guardians worked is because he had it on his fucking uh exactly uh, every Walkman. single one of those songs meant something to him personally. Yeah, and he had it on a Walkman, which is cool. And you know, and I'm not saying it shouldn't shouldn't have had music. I'm just saying, like, you know, uh, this is gonna be my last point. It needs to be organic. It needs to. It just needs to work out well. Like for for the the king of that is uh, Martin Scorsese. Yeah. He puts in the music when it's net. You know when it's necessary. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, it just it. Okay, I'm tired of talking about the music, honestly. I was going to say, was... a lot of the relationships in the movie are pretty forced, too, honestly. Uh, you're talking about um, Rick Flagg and, uh, and and Deadshot? Oh, you mean like the... the it was it was weird. It was... It yeah, was like... One minute they wanted like, to hurt each other, then the next minute... They but... were doing like a weird buddy cop thing with them. Like, th I, this movie had a lot of the issues that I feel like fucking Batman v Superman had, where they were trying to do too many things at the same time. Like, they wanted a fucking body, uh, buddy cop movie with Rick Flagg and Deadshot, but they also wanted a fucking weird, like, psycho romance movie between fucking Harley and the Joker, but they also wanted, like, a ridiculous action thriller with the rest of the fucking Suicide Squad, but they also wanted this fantastical fucking magic shit going on. Like, they were just doing I'll, too many I'll things you, man. at the same time. I'll tell you, I, like, I, I, this could have been... A really good, concise like it. I'm not saying that it all had to take place in like Bell Rev or something, but like if if they did something like that, it could have been fucking good. You want to hear my? I mean, I, they ain't gonna listen to me, but I had an idea of what they should have done. Uh, it was super simple. Instead of because I think the uh, we'll get to it later, but the villain in this movie was fucking horrific, terrible. It was, and dare I say it, it reminded me of like Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Oh, that's how fuck. that's how okay. bad it, that's how bad it was to me. Honestly, uh, like, Dude, oh my god, you just reminded me of how much I never thought about it until you just said that. Yeah. At the end, when they meet up with with the fucking main villain. Spoiler alert, because I don't even fucking give a shit anymore. It's, an, it's Enchantress. It's Enchantress. <laughs> Enchantress is the main villain. And she reminded me so... Now that you're pointing that out, she reminds me so much of Sindel from fucking Mortal Kombat Annihilation <laughs> with the voice. 
That's what it sounded like. Yeah. I never that's, even that's thought what about it. And she did like the weird, like the fucking weird, like hula dance. Yeah, but she, like it was all twitchy and she, shit. She like, did the whole weird, uh, 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 like the weird Chloe, deep... Chloe Moretz, uh, uh, Carrie reboot yeah. dance. <laughs> it was just, it was okay. So, so here, here, here was my idea of what they could have done. I think, I think this movie could have worked better if. They had more character moments. I, they, they had character moments, but I think it would have worked better if they had more of the more of the, like the bar scenes. The bar but, scene was yeah. good. To okay, um, I kind of want to close this out on a good note, but the bar scene was good to an extent. Like there was a lot of dialogue in there that was really good, but there was also a lot of cringeworthy dialogue too, like fucking Killer Croc, just in My, the background. Well, well, minus that. Well, okay, M- yeah, minus that, I think, yeah, you're, you're right. The Killer Croc like, shit was weird. They should have, honestly... He had, like, just, four lines, and they were all, like, really fucking... Honestly. Kind of racist honestly, at times. Honestly. Keep him fucking quiet. That's it. Exactly. That's he's, it. He's the fucking muscle, and yeah, that's nothing it. more. That That's it. That's honestly it. Uh, no, but I was going to say, um... Uh... Yeah, like, you know, have a, like, uh, my idea was, you know, have more of the, the bar-type scenes, you know, where they, they, there's a lot more character moments. Like, uh, Star Trek uh, Beyond. Yeah. You know, have more character moments. Have the characters talking um, to each other, you know, getting to know each other, getting to realize their habits, getting to realize their hates for each other, getting to, you know, uh, little quips here and there. But Like I said, there were pieces of that strewn yeah, there throughout was, the movie. But, but I wanted just, more of it. Yeah. Okay. Have more character moments. Make it make it a character driven story, but have the have the actual uh, uh, conflict. You know, with them, uh, you know, trying to complete the suicide mission. Be simple. I had an idea of like uh, I don't know somebody. They should have just saved the president. Like that, something like, like something something on the line. Like a like uh, for instance, um, I, when I was watching it. I felt like I was watching uh, Escape from New York in a, a little bit, like going Kinda. to the abandoned, you know, the uh, the abandoned town, and they, you know, there's their their ragtag and stuff like that. So you know, they they could have had something cool with that, you know, something simple, saving someone, yeah, well, you know, with the little twist, you know, have a little, you know, B minus uh, B minus DC character, yeah, that's you know not not too crazy, not too. Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, you know, like I, like I, I think that, I think that um, the story was very bland, and I yeah. think I think they could have really benefited from having more character moments and really uh, having a simple premise. Honestly, you know? I agree with you, and I'm not gonna try and like argue with you about it because mm-hmm. I I definitely agree. I could see. I could see that working out pretty well. Yeah. But, like, I think they could have done kind of something similar with what they were doing. But, like, what if they just had it... Because they were, they were pushing this whole Harley Joker thing so fucking hard. Yeah. Well, and I, I mean, get it. I, I get it as a... But... Marketing-wise, yeah. Because yeah. th- these are all characters... We know these characters, yeah. but the general public doesn't know these characters. So yeah, I can. I was it. So a, was if that's it a what you want to yeah. do, if that's what you want to do, fucking pull the trigger on that shit. I think that they would have benefited from making the Joker the fucking main villain. If they had the Joker as the villain, it would have added a whole nother layer to the conflict of these characters because some people have worked with the Joker before. Obviously, Harley is, like, the Joker's partner in crime, for her to be going up against the Joker would have added a whole layer of, like, you know, of internal conflict for her because it's, like, somebody that she, quote-unquote, loves but now is considered the enemy. That's actually a really good idea. Like, that could have been fucking awesome. That's actually a suit up. Yeah, that would And the Joker would have actually... I mean, I get it. You know, it's comic booky. You know, the Joker has a side... His side shit that he's just doing for mm-hmm. his own, you know, his own gain. But yeah, I think that actually would have been a really but damn good idea. For them to like introduce all these new characters that people have never seen before on the screen. Yes, we know them, but the, like you said, the general audience doesn't know these characters. Right. They spent so much time trying to like tell us about these characters, and at the same time, we still know nothing about these characters. Right. Like the first half an hour of this movie was dedicated to just like flashbacks of 
these characters and them lit like physically telling us like this is Killer Croc. He was like you know he's human, but he's mutated to the point where like. He's literally like a feral animal. Like, yeah, I get that, yeah. but like, you could have showed that through character moments. Like, they tried to do it at the end, where also, by the way, like I, I kind of mentioned it before. Killer Croc was completely pointless in this movie. The only reason he was there was at the end. There just so happened to be like this underwater <laughs> tunnel that they had to go through, and he's just like, "Yo, I live in the water. This is what I do," and then just dove in there. Yeah. And that had nothing to do down there. Well, I'm going to say something, and we're going to get into that a little bit later in this uh, review. Uh, apparent, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. Apparently, in the extended cut, he has more of a of a role, but we'll get into that later. Yeah. yeah. But, like, <laughs> there was just so much bullshit in this movie that kind of didn't need to be there that, like, if you... If you treated your audience with any kind of respect, we could have figured it out if we even took two seconds to think about it. I, um, you know? I, look, I think that, uh, you know, when they were doing the whole profile run in the beginning, I, I dug that because I'm like, okay, this is what they would do in Suicide Squad because they need to introduce everybody. You, like, not introduce it, well, you know, they're introducing it to the, uh, you know, to the people involved. This is this guy. The, you know, this is, they kind of did it in the, um, you, you know what would have been cool? Uh, but it would have been too goofy for it. Like mm. they, the way they did it in um, Assault on Arkham. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like have like a an opening where they they show them doing something in action. Each, yeah. each individual character. Like and they kind of they that turn to the screen and it shows their stats and yeah, shit. Yeah, they kind of did that with some characters. Like they they did it with Harley. They did it with. Um, Captain Boomerang, I think. Which was great. That was my favorite yeah, one. Captain Boomerang was actually pretty fucking I, good in this look, movie. Jai, I rather enjoyed him. Look, Jai Courtney... Not um, a good actor, but he brought it this time around. Look, I, I he had think... fun. I think that... I don't want to blame... Well, I don't know who to blame, but I I just... He's he's in a lot of shit, but I, real, I want him back yeah. in The Flash because... Uh, oh, by the way... Uh, we already said fucking spoiler, so fuck it. The Flash was in this for like yeah, two the seconds. Yeah, the Flash cameo was fucking great. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, why can't we watch this? Like, ugh. I don't know, but like, let me let me get back into it because honestly, like, I've had I've talked to so many people about this movie at work, like between coworkers and customers, and a lot of people have been fighting me on it, and a lot of people have been saying, well, what is it that you didn't like about this movie? I'm gonna really break it down for you right now, okay? So. I love the character of Harley Quinn. I love Margot Robbie as an actress. She is amazing. The two together, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, sounds like it would be a fucking dream come true. Honestly, I wish that Margot Robbie was Harley Quinn in a fucking better movie. Because she yeah. was nothing but a fucking punchline. She was only there to spout out, haha, that's supposed to be funny. You know one-liners and fucking zingers and like like I said there's potential there but it's just like if only this were a better movie a better filmmaker a better oh god damn it I just said that about David Ayer and that breaks my heart I don't think but we're gonna get I, it, we're yeah, gonna we'll get, get into, into that later, later. Yeah. yeah I don't think it was his fault I know I just have a gut feeling it wasn't it wasn't his fault. A better. You might as well just hire fucking Brian Singer, right? No, I'm sorry, not I mean, Brian oh, Singer. Brett oh, Bre 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 Ratner. There you go. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Just then, hire him. Yeah. You're look. The studio's obviously like, no, we want this. Hire a numbskull then. Yeah. Don't hire a good director. Hire somebody that you can just push around, or that people will excuse you pushing around. <laughs> but like, you know, a better filmmaker would not have treated his characters with with such fucking I don't even know what the word is but like a better filmmaker would have treated his characters better you know Harley Quinn was a punchline Will Smith was there to be Will Smith and nothing I like else. I enjoyed that though I, I mean there yeah. were points but it's just like again in a better movie you know I like when oh, when you're uh, one of them deaf hoes that was a great line it was funny but that it was wasn't a for great this line. movie but come on man that was that was a great there was he had a he had a couple great lines um for instance, uh, with, with the whole college thing, it's like if she doesn't, if she oh, doesn't, yeah, she, if she doesn't show up, I need you to wipe people that shit up. Yeah, that, that was that was hilarious. Like there, there, there's some. Like I said, there's some good lines in it. Like for instance, I know I'm going off a little, but uh, 
really, really, really quick, what did you think of Jared Leto? Do you think he sucked? Do you think he was okay? Or do you think he was phenomenal? Um, honestly, I'm going to lean towards okay for now, but like, I wasn't enjoying it while I was watching it. He had a few lines I really enjoyed. And, uh, I really liked the feel of it. Like, uh, the, like the whole... I like that he was kind of like mobster joker. I did, like, I did. That's fine, but again, it's just like, you know, his portrayal was really weird and off-putting. And, you know, it's the Joker, so it makes sense, but, like, yeah. I... I couldn't I, I really like, the, like um, I couldn't really like click yeah. with what he was trying to accomplish. Yeah. And like at maybe at, maybe maybe with a better script. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say like I kind of want more but at the same time it's like I don't want more of this, yeah. you know? No, I I hear you, but Cuz Jared Leto is a fucking amazing actor. Yeah, and he, He's I, an Oscar winning actor. Yeah, I liked I liked him in this. I liked what we ha- you know what he had to work with. Um the uh you know, I liked the one of my favorite scenes is um it's gonna be so weird that I'm saying this, but when he he was talking to a Griggs, the security guard, mm-hmm. and he was like uh, snarling. I, 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 I dug didn't that because really I like, that's, like that. But that's something he would do, like to that's fuck something, with you. That's something Jared Leto would do, not the <laughs> Joker. But that that's something he would do, and like when when he stuck his hand out and he had to kiss it. You remember? Yeah. Remember with the ring, like he, like, he didn't that's talk. Some, yeah, that's yeah. something the Joker would do. Yeah, like, like I get that. Was, like I said, there's definitely moments where you can see a yeah. better movie in this shit show where I wish it was just like, just do more of that! Just, there, just do that! Alright, alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you my two favorite lines that he said. Okay. Um, my first my favorite line, I just I love the way he said it, I don't know why, is when Harley Quinn is on the uh, table and he just enters the room and he goes, What do we have here? I, I just I liked it. Yeah. I liked and the other the other scene that it makes me fucking laugh. I don't know why. It, I I think it's a great scene. Uh is uh well not great scene, great line is when um he was uh describing Harley Quinn as the itch in his crotch and stuff oh, like okay, that. Yeah. Like, I thought that was cool. And and when he when he offered um Harley Quinn, I'm just going to say it's common. When he offered to Harley Quinn to common, mm-hmm. and he looked at Harley Quinn, and he was like, and Harley, I'm going to... You gonna, I, belong to this man now. No, no, he said, he's, he didn't say that, but he said, you, and you can be with this. Hunka, 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 <laughs> hunka. I, I was like, okay. that's great. That's a great line. I, okay, I laughed. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, and, 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 you're and, actually and, turning me around on yeah, that. Yeah, and... Like, and and the when there's the, some gems in yeah, there. You're and, right. And when Common goes, I don't want no beef, man. And he goes, You want no beef? You don't want no beef? <laughs> like, like there, there's a there's a good Joker in like like you said, Harley Quinn. I want to see this Joker in a good movie. Yeah, that's <laughs> you know, like, uh, and I is it me or was did it seem like some of his laughs were eighty yard? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> it just it you're felt absolutely that right. way. Like I tried and that to, brings us to. My fucking <laughs> biggest, and I think it's your biggest complaint about this fucking movie too. editing. What the? Who the fuck edited oh this movie? Oh my god! I forgot the dude's name, but I know. Apparently, I, he edited. Um, what was it that you said? He, he edited um, Nightcrawler. What the fuck? Yeah. He edited one of the but, best movies I've seen in forever. But here's here's the thing. I don't think it's his fault. I don't. I know. don't think. Look, because the same the uh, Batman v Superman. They must have had like a ghost editor somewhere. Ba- yeah, they had to. Batman v Superman had the same problem. Yeah, and it wasn't the same editor. So I don't know what the fuck's going on. I guess this is just how DC wants their fucking movies. Edit a fucking movie. Like I don't. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm an editor, so like I see these kinds. I can see the fucking glaring issues, but it's like. You know that there are scenes missing. You know that there, like, there, there's shit that should have been here, or like, they, like, they, they change the narrative of a few scenes with the editing alone. Like that scene where Rick Flat, where they get to the building that they were going to, because they're like, yeah, we have to get there and take care of secure priority number one. Mm-hmm. And then Rick Flag goes in there and it's like, surprise, Amanda Waller's pulling the strings from back here. Uh, you never would have guessed. That's like, something, we knew that. she, that's something then, she would do. Yeah, Yeah, no, 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 that's yeah. fine. But here's what I have as an issue from an editing standpoint. Then Will Smith walks in and it's just like, okay, but like, what about the rest of the squad? They didn't even show like, you know, <laughs> them questioning like what's going on in there. And then Deadshot's like, fuck it, I'm going in. 
Yeah. No, he just comes in and starts talking all casually, like like it's fine, like he's supposed to be there. No, because based on the rules that you set up in your fucking movie, his head should be blown off right now. I thought he just <laughs> fucking broke orders. He broke protocol. Yeah. Amanda Waller should have just been like, nah, dead. I thought I thought it would have been cool if, like you know, you, you what you just mentioned to me, if uh, it would have been very dead shot. You know, if he was going in and, I don't know, like, uh, I'll just pick somebody out of the blue. Captain Boomerang goes, hey, you know, hey, she said you can't go in there. And he go, and he's going, well, I'm going in. Why well, You're not going in. I'll fucking blast your head off if you yeah. touch me. And he just walks in, you know, just have some establishment, you know? Exactly. The, like, this movie. But no, you had Killer Croc after, after this scene. I like her. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> she's black. I guess so. Yeah. But, like. There's like, you can tell that there's scenes missing. Like from the from the trailer, you could see at one point it looks like the Joker's like half his face is burnt or something. That was shit. taken out, yeah. Yeah, where was that scene? Clearly, it took place after that helicopter crash, you know. And they're like, yeah, the Joker's dead. And then it shows at the end, and like the mid credit scene, Joker comes for Harley. It's like, well, we granted we knew that was gonna happen, but it's like. This would have set that up if you fucking left that scene in there. Don't show it in your promotions. If I mean, like, I get it. Sometimes you want to show, like, some of the jokes that may not be in the movie. So it's like you're not giving away, you know, your best shit. Yeah. But it's like when you're leaving out integral scenes to the plot, and I can tell that you left it out because you fucking showed it to me in the trailer... That's a fucking... That's a huge editing issue. You know what would have been cool at the end? If, um... You know, there was, like, a... You know, the big explosion and Harley Quinn got, you know, got to escape. If it was Ben Affleck, like, I have a better script, come on. <laughs> just, just some... Just some shit, like... He's oh, like, follow you. me to Justice League. Fuck. We got a better movie. No, fuck that. Follow me to Bat... I'm I'm not excited for Justice League, man. This movie After fucked this, my expectations look, for the rest of the DC Batman universe. v Superman was a strike one. Yep. Killing Joke was a strike two. I, if this would have been a foul ball, I would have been okay. Yeah. This is a fucking strike three. Yeah. So they struck out with me this year. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Like, honestly, dude, I, like, for for instance, um, uh, there, there's a lot of talk. Oh, they went, you know, they did reshoots, uh, you know, they, after they saw the outcome of Batman v Superman. So they wanted to add more humor. So they wanted to change the tone. Look, I love... When a movie can be funny, I love when a movie can be serious. Bad editing is bad editing. Exactly. Like, you can... Regardless <laughs> of whether or not you enjoyed this movie or you hated this movie, you can't help but notice the fact that there are big fucking holes in this movie. There is. Because so many people are coming to me, they're like, you know, oh, what did you think of the movie? And I'm like, I hated it. And they're like, why? Because there was shit missing. There, that's a fucking huge glaring issue and I guess that must not be a fucking problem for everybody else but it really fucking bothers me from a filmmaking standpoint yeah. a better filmmaker would not have let this shit happen so I know David Ayer is a better filmmaker so I can't blame him the guy made Fury exactly so I can't fucking blame him so the only people that I can single out is now the is the studio I really blame Why the are you self sabotaging yourself? I don't know. Uh, look, uh, they just need to honestly be themselves and be just just fucking be yourself. That's it. Make your own goddamn movie. Yeah. And I, I know I know Don't try and pander to the audience. Yeah. Don't try and keep up with Marvel. Do, Do your, your own, own fucking thing. Do your own thing. You have the right parts. Exactly. Do your own thing. Like, uh, there, there's a lot of... Uh, I, I got a lot of shit because uh, I prefer the Marvel Universe right now over DC. And everybody goes, oh, it's because... You're a Marvel fanboy. Oh, boy. you're a Marvel fanboy. No, they're making better movies. Yeah. Regardless they of whether or not <laughs> I was a comic book fan... As a fucking fan of film, I would love these movies more anyway because they're better made movies. They're making better... Look, Marvel, to me, in my opinion, uh, you know, you, you can say what you want about Iron Man 3, Iron Man 2, uh, Thor 2, maybe even the first Thor, and a couple... Uh, uh, 
I forgot what other movie wasn't that good. A lot good. of people weren't really feeling uh, the first Captain America. Yeah, the first Captain America. Okay, they they weren't perfect, but they to me they weren't shitty. They were no. okay. They were you know? decent. Yeah, they, they were decent enough. But god damn, man. Oh, and one last thing I I uh, want to say about the villain, and I'm and I'm done. Vill- like once again, the villain was really shitty. I am fucking tired of this superhero trope because this is this is one of the key elements that's going to kill this genre stop going to the big beam of light and destroying right? the main object oh my I god i can't it's take it anymore the same ending as fantastic Four. i can't take it anymore it's literally the same ending when there's a big beam right yeah. like 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 the the villain has a makes a uh makes a a, a home mm-hmm. and you know like a layer and there's just a big fucking beam that just and, shoots up that just shoots sky. up it's like we get it we have to go there look look and how do we get there oh the and, big beam in the sky that's where yeah. we go no fucking shit and to show you that i'm not biased avengers did age it of ultron had the same fucking issue yep avengers age of ultron. did it both times in the first one with the giant fucking beam right yeah. up in the sky, Age of Ultron did the same thing. There may not have been, like, a big beam. It was a continent. Yeah. <laughs> like, I... <laughs> this... It happens so often now that it uh, is... It's a That's why problem. Civil War was so great. That it just didn't have that. It didn't have a big fucking beam. <laughs> All right, there's two, there's two things that I want to say, and then I want to close this out with our ratings. So, um... Again, about the, the villain Enchantress, they, they realized that they literally created their own villain, right? There would be no reason for this... Sui- like, they brought the Suicide Squad together because they were like, what if the next Superman comes down and he's fucking evil? Like, they, they it wasn't like they were bringing the Suicide Squad together to go on a mission. They were just talking about, like, maybe we should have this on the back burner in case some shit goes down. And then, because they were being so fucking malicious to these people, which, I get it, they're villains, but because they literally created their own fucking problem with Amanda Waller trying to manipulate these people, because that's she's so good at it. She's so good at it that she literally almost got herself fucking killed, because she they, they went after the Enchantress's heart or something, yeah. and they were holding her hostage. And then, <laughs> the second they gave her like any kind of free reign... She fucking ran. I, she I fucking liked, ran uh, and became the villain of this movie. Had they not, had Amanda Waller not, like, you know, stuck her imaginary dick in this fucking <laughs> pool, it wouldn't have bit back. I, I, I did like, uh, uh, I'm not disagreeing with you, but I did like uh, Viola Davis's performance. Oh, yeah, this. She was, I thought she was perfectly casted. Yeah. Um, I going, think Oprah would have done great, too. Oh, Honestly? Yeah, I, I was like, <laughs> I thought you called her Oprah. I'm like, no, I just said her name. <laughs> no. but, I was like, that's not Oprah. Um, that would have been, I've, it would have been interesting. I would have been laughing. I'm sorry. She would have been like, hello, just like to everybody. Can you imagine that? Oprah, dude, Oprah does have like fucking good. She has, she has acting chops. I'm just saying, I, I'm just picturing like Jesse Eisenberg uh, and, and uh, like his Lex Luthor and Oprah talking like as Oprah. Yeah. Hello. (laughs) And he's like, he's like, why why are you screaming? (laughs) My father was mean to me. No, but that's besides the point. But the um, other thing that I wanted to say, the one good thing that like, (laughs) as far as like the potential goes that I really saw there that kind of, nothing's going to save this movie, but the one saving grace, and I'm using that term lightly of this movie. And I'm sure a lot of people are probably going to disagree with me. The one thing that I really actually liked about this movie was Diablo. I Diablo's liked him. character, I liked him. his arc, the way that they handled him was the only good thing to me about this movie. I liked him. He was like a skinny Drax, you know, with his family <laughs> dying and Yeah, but like he was fucking <laughs> like he was fucking tortured and you could see it on his face. Yeah. You know? Literally. Yeah. It's not wash off. I, li- I like that <laughs> joke, by the way. Off. That was that was pretty that funny. Was funny. Is that wash off? Like, that fucking shit, that just goes to show it's like, you knew what you had on your hands, and you had some fucking great character building moments, and you peppered them into this movie, but you gave it all to one character, as opposed to, like, the whole expanse of characters that you had at your disposal. And don't don't show me the potential of the movie that I could have seen 
but I paid fucking good money to see this shit show. So oh for my me, God. honestly, I got tickets for all you guys. Yeah, I feel, I feel, <laughs> I feel like I should charge you guys like interest. <laughs> no, but um, I was gonna say uh, a couple of my favorite lines uh, from this. Another yeah, because I do want to end this on a, uh, on a yeah. decent note before when we uh, Viola ratings. Davis came back after. I mean, it was stupid. I remember like because like she was clearly dead. Yeah, like she was clear. I I did like when Will Smith goes. How are you not dead? <laughs> like that that was a good line. And I the actually funny thing is, me and Will Smith said it at the yeah. same time. How are you not dead? That that was funny. Um when um the enchantress uh her name is really hard to say by the way. Uh enchantress. Yeah. So uh when she when her brother was going to attack the uh, group, I did like Jai Courtney when he, when he was like, "What is this?" <laughs> like like that, you know. That, I like when I like the self-referential meta humor. Like yeah. that was fine. But, like, I feel like it went a little too overboard at times, you know? Mm-hmm. But, you know, they're, I I don't mind that they changed the tone, but, like, this is this is still a part of this DC universe, and they're, I felt like they were trying to say, like, see, look how different we can be. And that wasn't what would, really working what would you watch? Me. What would you rather watch again? Suicide or Batman? I'd rather watch Suicide. If it was up to me, I, like, no, if you had a gun to your head, and you had to watch either one. I I'd watch Suicide because I I had more fun. Do I with have it. the option to drink while I watch the movie? Sure. Then Suicide Squad. Yeah, I'd I'd watch Suicide but Squad. But even still, I feel like Suicide Squad is a worse movie than Batman v Superman, and that's why I'm giving it a three out of ten. Uh, I, I I after talking to a few people after seeing this movie, I almost wanted to give it a three point five, but sitting down and like really you know getting back into it and thinking about this movie. No, this was okay. a poorly executed, poorly put together, poorly scripted, poorly like mm, this could have been this could have yeah. been the saving grace of this fucking. And we're universe. not going into it wanting to hate it. I want to go in there and leave and go fuck yeah. Exactly. Like I, I want to like leave like ex- like I want to leave excited. Like I want to. Le- <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm gonna sound biased again. I want to leave. A DC movie like I like I left Civil War. Yeah, like you know, like yeah, like, I can't wait for the next one. This one, I I, I don't want to leave a movie and go, oh man, I wish you know, like they did this better and this better. You know what I mean? I like, the, I, it's gonna. I, I've said this before, and don't take don't take offense to this. The the DC universe, uh, you know, their movie universe. Is like a friend that's on drugs, and you're just like, "Come on, man! You can do so much better, yeah. man! Come on, you got so much potential! Exactly. Why are you messing up your college scholarship? You know what I mean? Like, like, like they, they have it. They 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 have it. They just I. Somebody they need over, a Kevin Feige. I was gonna say, they and, and, and they're Kevin definitely Feige. taking a step in the right direction, we'll giving see. the reins to Jeff Johns and, and ben, ben Affleck. Affleck. We'll see. But I don't know. I'm still fucking I, scared. I, I what do you rate know. this movie? Because I want, I want to end this. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Xavier. One last thing, and I'll yeah. I'll go ahead. Um, I don't. I'm not excited for Justice League after this. No. Um, wait, it's Wonder I Woman. Mean, it's Wonder Woman. It's then Wonder Justice Woman League? next, then Justice League. All right. Wonder Woman has Patty Jenkins as a director, good director. I'm not really excited for their next movies, man. Mm. After this, you know, I, I was I was really like, optimistic. This movie brought me down to no expectations on Justice League because after seeing that trailer, I was fucking hyped. <laughs> but and then I saw Suicide Squad, and this brought me right back down. Yeah. But it hasn't brought me down like to the point where you're not like how you are not excited. I'm not. I still I want. I want to see Justice League. I want it to be good. I'm not. I, but I, I feel for like for me a, right now, the 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 fucking waters are tainted, and I, I'm not excited for Wonder Woman anymore. I'm not excited. I'm I'm not excited for any DC movie coming out in the future. Really, I'm really not. I'm sorry. I just after this, it's just like, what else? So, anyways, the only glimmer of hope that I have for the next uh, set of films, if mm-hmm. you will, is that. I guess the only excuse I can pull out of my ass at this point is that Suicide Squad and, and Batman v Superman were made under the same umbrella right. around the same time. Maybe they're gonna get their act together after this. After Maybe. seeing the, after seeing their you know their negative response. The DC um, universe, their cinematic universe as a whole, needs to quit the blow. No, they they, they really really do. Okay, and and last point, I, I swear to God, it's the last thing. Uh, 
I heard that there's a David Ayer cut, like a longer cut. Mm-hmm. I'm tired of that shit. I know. I'm tired. You know when the movie counts? Not when it comes out on Blu-ray in the extended cut. The extended cut should be a tasty dessert, if you will. Yeah. Like it should, you know, be after the meal. Like one we wanted. More. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. All right. I'm sick and tired of that. The them movie giving us the, this bare bones movie that the, we know has more to it. Dude, the movie that counts is the one that I pay fourteen fucking dollars for and sit my ass in the theater. That's the movie that counts. Yeah. Cause that's the you know, that's a first impression. But otherwise, um, I will. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a bit more. Lin- uh, I'm not. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying you're an asshole or anything. No, <laughs> or anything. It's okay. But yeah, except yeah. for the fact that I'm the more cynical of the two. Yes. Yeah. Of us. yeah. Uh, I'm a bit more lenient. Lenient. Um, so I'm gonna give it a five. Uh, if I had to give it a letter grade, D plus. I give uh, this a straight fucking F. A straight fucking... I give it a D plus because, you know, you had, like, the honka honka honka... You know, you had, you had some scenes... If you put a smile on my face, you're good, you know? But here and there, you're good, but it's... it's You're gonna have to do a lot more to impress me. This movie... Okay. That's well, all I have is, to say. This is the last... I mean, I kind of said it before, but I guess I'm just gonna tie it up with a nice, neat bow here. This movie not only disappointed me as a comic book movie, but as a film altogether. It did. It... It just, it angered me, not just as a fan of these characters, but as a fan of film in general. And it's that, messy. to me, is a fucking travesty. And it's I messy. Can't, I can't let that go. It's, it's, it's a mess. Yeah. It's a, it's a mess, man. It's, like, you know, people say, oh, critics are, you know, cr- <sighs> fuck you critics and all stuff like that. I won't get all into that, but it, it's just this like, this is some, this is a, this is a, entertain uh, a medium that we love yeah and we just we you know we it's just our opinion yeah that's just like, how it is i just i wanted so much more for this movie and i'm a huge really we're huge me. dc fans yeah we're huge dc fans we're not even like i love dc long before i love marvel same here so you know it's no nothing biased or anything like that i'm just calling it how i see it because I can't let this shit go and and I'm not gonna shut my eyes lightly and, about it. Yeah, you know? I'm not gonna shut my eyes and, and go. Good it, job. Yeah. Good job. No, no, I can't. I can't let that go. Yeah. Honestly, that, you know, please, please get better. And yeah, I I want to know what people think. Can yeah. you, people, you know, viewers, audience, anybody, I I really want to know what people think. If you yeah. like this movie, I want to know why. If you didn't like this movie, I want to talk to you about it. Yeah. So um, comment below. Be sure to you know like, subscribe, share this with your friends because I want more people to know yeah. how not just we the two of us, but we as an audience feel going into these movies. Right. And also, um, uh, do you want to plug in the uh, commentary as well? Yeah, we did recently. We did a uh, a full three hour commentary <laughs> for Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice, the Ultimate Edition. <laughs> That's out on squabblebox.co.uk. Fucking, we we sat through that so you guys can have something to fucking hold on to while you <laughs> while you while you trudge through that shit show. So again, if you want to check that out, uh, it's in two parts on squabblebox.co.uk. Yep. So. Hopefully we'll uh, yeah. we'll see you and, guys uh, there. We also have uh, I, sorry, really quick. Yeah, uh, no we also problem. have uh, our Killing Joke uh, review up too. Yep, as I'll right link now. to that as well in yep. the description. So, Thank you guys. Later.